What's up everybody, Chris coming to you, another one of my crazy crossroads, Big Joey C, Urban Ghost, Urban Explorations with me once again. We are in Hillenbran, North Carolina for a, a tour of where they filmed The Hunger Games. And it's a whole little village, it's really cool. I'm going to do this real quick because th the gentleman that owns this property, Taylor, who is right here, he's already kind of gave the spiel once on Joe's video. <laughs> I don't want to, you know, overstay our welcome, but Taylor, uh, he... he Jumped out and scared the living daylights out of us when we pulled up here. He wanted to make you shook us down for some money, all that good stuff. But this is um, this is where they shot one of the scenes in the movie. Um, but this whole village does have some some uh, paranormal and some uh, uh, ghostly things that do go on here. They did uh, extend an a invitation for us to come back at night to uh, open a couple other facilities up for us so we can go in. But today we're just going to kind of take a tour of the whole area. Taylor's going to give us a little introduction about what he does. There's a nonprofit. He, he owns a nonprofit to save this property here. It's an old cotton mill. And we're going to have all that information in the description, guys. If you can, please donate to help them keep this, this wonderful land. We really would appreciate it. But that being said, Taylor. Awesome. Yep. Uh, so site director here at the village, me and my family and a group of friends bought it, uh, decided to preserve it so um, if you come out here take a tour donation um, gift shop uh, all that money goes into a 501 c3 uh, to get uh, a uh, museum out here and this is actually will become the museum is uh, house 16 uh, like he said Chris said it is the uh, Katniss house from the Hunger Games so if you go back and watch the movie uh, the kind of opening scene uh, the Everdeens and, and kind of their family are all in this house um, uh, the bedroom scene kind of behind us that's where they kind of get ready before they go get picked for for the games. Uh, we're standing in the kitchen area. Uh, Miss Everdeen was an apothecary medicine woman, so she's always messing with uh, plants and things like that and making potions. Um, the window behind us here, the cat buttercup jumps in there. So uh, if you go back and watch the movie, first 10 minutes or so, that's that's really where we are. Um, most of the filming, however, was on the outside. Uh, this is the only interior that they did. And once again, this becomes the museum. Hopefully in the next um, year or so, we'll, we'll start renovations uh, on that. That's awesome. You're the man. Thank you, you know, so much. One thing I want to point out, though, while you were speaking, am I, I the only no. one who heard so a woman go, uh... <laughs> I didn't hear it. So Taylor did mention that that he has heard some, or he's had some experiences here, right? So, yeah, it's mostly, it's mostly the guests that have experiences yeah. and then come back and tell me. So, uh, voices, uh, bangs, children laughing, screams. Some people um, feel like they're getting chased a lot. Uh, I've gotten that. So, oh. thankfully, I don't get any of that. Um, well, you're gonna. But, <laughs> but it seems to happen to everybody else and then they come and tell me the stories. Awesome. And, and once again, to reiterate, we are gonna come back. We're gonna have to schedule something, maybe uh, when, you know, next time Joe's in town or whatever, to do uh, you know, a nice, long, paranormal shoot here. Um, with the wonderful owners here, but Taylor, thank you so much. We're going to kind of, no worries. We're going to cut off for a second, then we're going to come back and just tour this area. It's going to be great, guys. Oh. See you on the inside. Deuces. Six. So house number rocks. six throws stuff. Throws stuff at you. That's the one in the corner, and then <laughs> um, down by where the mill was. Mill was struck by lightning in the '70s and caught fire, so it's no longer there. But down kind of near the mill, 
um, whispers, kind of, it's hard, it's, it's kind of, um, you never know what they're saying, it's just kind of like, you know, Yeah, you it always comes through on the camera when that yeah, happens. Yeah, so. and so those are the two main kind of urban legends that we have, but like I said, people, um, people get chased. House number one, which is the last one on the top left, a lot of people have heard things, screams, and... Oh my gosh, like that's that, awesome. So. <laughs> this is my, so great. One of my clairvoyants told me that the, some of the ghosts followed me home whenever I first started. Oh man, oh, really? okay, that's not good. That's why you're used to them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, she said they didn't go in. She said they just watched from the window, which was a little weirder, but they didn't oh, actually wow. go in the house. They were just kind of checking me out. Um, cool deal. Right, you guys so have fun. I'll give you so right. so Thank you for much. letting us. Uh, just a couple like a rules and safety stuff. No going in the houses. We already mentioned that. Yeah, just you know, just kind of peeking in the doors and right. stuff. Um, be careful of the road on the northern part of the village. It's very, very active and busy. House twelve. That's the the one that's been renovated. Calvin's down there eating lunch with his family. So just kind of stay off the porch. Just kind of get close. To okay. It. Um, and then technically we don't own. I mentioned it before. We don't own. Um, where the mill site and the dam was. So okay. just kind of stay on the road and above. You'll tell you'll tell the difference okay. where you're down okay. there. It's just a safety thing. Thank you so uh, much. Have, have fun. Appreciate awesome. it. Thank we're you until, so much. We're up until three, but like I said, Calvin might be out here a little longer, so you might okay. be longer. I'll text him, okay? Sweet. Okay, thank you. Oh, this is so... All right, guys, so he was... I, I, I cut back on because he was that telling was us some so cool stuff. Standing in the house that was Katniss... Katniss Everdeen. Everdeen. So I'm going to show you the outside here, and I saw the movie with my daughter, and to be quite honest, I don't really remember it. Uh, my wife and my older daughter, Lainey. So I'm going to go back and watch the movie again, of course, but um, Katniss Everdeen. This is her house. Just telling us a little bit about that. There are There's the window. That go on here. There's the window. That's the window, right, Joe, that he said Buttercup came through? That's the right in the opening okay. of the, uh, the movie, Buttercup. Yep. Cat, and then this is the bedroom and This here. is Katniss's, wow, look at that little bed, uh, dude. In the Hunger Games, Katniss was here. Everdeen, huh? Katniss, Everdeen, right? Yeah. So this is the main <clears throat> movie house, guys. Pretty cool. I don't know how this will come across on camera, but it's tiny. And he did say that this there were duplexes. So yeah. they knocked. I don't know if we got that on my... Um, I guess yeah. this wall was added. It was a wall. Right here. You can see right over here, Joe, that this was the divider wall. So back when these were cotton mills in the yeah. early 1900s, these, this house was for two people or two families. Wow, this is so cool. Now, we were specifically told not to go upstairs. He says, but um, I'm going to still peek my camera up there. So we, we, we heard it all started. Well, you, you're, you, on the intro, we heard, <laughs> we heard some voice. And then before, when our cameras were off, we heard three knocks, which we were not sure if that was Joe because he was on the floor or not, but it was clearly distinctively three knocks. Yeah, so Chris in Chris's intro, <laughs> it was like a woman's voice that went, oh. So that's kind of when I came back on after we heard the three knocks because he was telling us about all the paranormal stuff that goes on on this property. Anyway, guys, let's get back to this. I'm curious to see, I wonder if we will pick up anything paranormal, but if not, we're definitely picking up a really cool video. And the house Some locations are interesting because one thing I noticed about when I film, the place always looks a lot bigger than it actually yeah, is. I'm yeah. tell you, this is a shoe box and yeah. it is small. To give you like like some sort of perspective, I mean I mean just look at Joe and Joe's you know, Joe's pretty much taking up that whole that's the kitchen, this is the <laughs> there was the kitchen. This was the living room, and like I said, there was a divider wall right here. Yeah. So that's it, man. It's tiny. All right. Yeah, Joe's on the <laughs> on the on the couch. All right, so <laughs> I'm in the Hunger Games house. This is so cool. This is neat. Uh, it is so cold here, guys. In so look at South look at this Carolina. bed. Nor we're in North Carolina. We're in Hillenbrand. Literally on like the border of South Carolina <clears throat> and North Carolina. So. Literally like five miles one way here in South Carolina. 
the other way, you're in North Carolina. So this is North Carolina. Uh, there'll be a lot of cuts in this video. There's a lot of so over here, I'm going to shut this light off, is where the, the bakery from the movie was. Now, Taylor mentioned that we'll, we might be able to, that we will be able to go in there uh, when we come back for the power. So what they do is they normally just open this, this house for the tour. Um, he did say there's a couple other houses that they'll open for us when we come back. And obviously we're going to make a nice donation uh, to them to do so. And I believe we're going to be able to go into the old bakery there as well. So, just really cool. I mean, if you guys can just take all this in. And we're in, it's, it's called Hildenbrand, North Carolina, which is sort of like around the Hickory uh, portion of North Carolina. So, if you are in the area, like uh, we're between... Charlotte and Asheville um, on I-40. If you take I-40, this is exit 119, and it's not too far off of the exit. But it's it's absolutely beautiful. Just this whole surrounding is gorgeous. Um, the Blue Ridge Mountains not far from us, but it's just so so nice. So I guess do you want to head? Do you want to head to? Um, yeah, we'll take a look in this bakery. They opened the door for us, but we'll be able to go in this when we come back. Inside the bakery, do regulations with the... They have some county people, I think. Fire safety, fire department, and yet a county. You go, I'll go low, you go high. Go first, just get a peek in there. I can't really see too much from this angle, but... Oh, wow, what a neat... Oh, that's so cool. Anyway, one thing that I always find so awesome is when you go to places that people are super friendly. Yeah, what a nice guy. a brick and the whole building falls. So nice guys, so nice. It's a different perspective of all the other homes in the village. So this is where I guess they felt, again, I, I can't really fill you in on too much of what was what in the movie because I haven't watched it, but um, I, I did watch it, but I didn't really pay attention, like I said. But I will uh, certainly go watch the movie now a little more uh, intently. So if we go down, I want to find, so house number six is the one Taylor said that people said there was things thrown at them. I don't know if the houses are numbered. It's 12. Hey, Joe? Yeah. House number six and 12, we got to check out. Well, this is 12. Okay. We, we were in 12, right? I, I don't know. But do they, do they have numbers on the houses? So that I was looking for too. <laughs> and probably on the map. Which which? We probably, yeah. Uh, yeah. Probably on the map. If you look in there, there's an old cart like, oh. uh, from like probably the early 1900s. Right? 
It's really cool that they're restoring this place to keep this village as a big museum. Oh, look at that. Just think back to when this was a functioning mill. So you go back to the early, mid to late uh, 1900s. I think he said 1970-something was when this um, was no longer a mill. And just think of think of the simplicity of living here. Yeah. So there were multiple families in maybe a 500 square foot. You know what I would be thinking though, if I lived here, worked at the mill, how do you call in sick? They know what you're doing, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, Christmas, there's no way to go. We see you playing basketball. We, we see you uh, kicking a stone outside. All right, what are you doing? But think of like the kids and how yeah. they were probably such a tight knit, oh, yeah, man. you know, community and every day they probably were smiling. No garbage, you know, no internet, no bull crap, no nothing, just, just having it. Time, man. Just having fun, man. What's really the parents cool probably worked. This is though, like, if you think about it, like, I wonder, like, you know, for our audience now, again, for copyrights, we don't really use clips from movies or anything like that. But in the comment section, if you see a part from a movie, like, that you can match up in this video, let us know because I yeah. like to check that out. Yeah, please do so. Sorry, guys, I just brightened that up. I hope that's a little better. It was really dark. This though, man. It's <clears throat> so I can't wait to go watch this video, this movie. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I guess down there is the old mill. Down there. I said this house down here is where the guy Clayton's eating. Oh, that is house number 12 is where where uh, the guy is, the owner, is eating, Joe. Yeah, yeah, that's the house. That's Clayton. So this is what they're going to do. I guess this is one of the owners. This, and uh, these are the folks that are trying to restore it. I guess they're going to try and bring all these houses back to what they were. Oh, you can see the divider wall. Let me go back up there so you can see that. Look at this, look at this house. But as you can see, there is materials in here. <clears throat> We're going to rebuild this place. This one's being redone right now? Uh, there's some materials oh. in there that seem to be... So this is the same size house, right? As Mrs. Uh, Hillen... What was her name? Um, Agnes. <laughs> Katniss. <laughs> Katniss, yes, okay. Katniss, uh, Ever... Dale. Everdale? Everdale. Okay, so there's the two, you can see the two doors in the separation. So these are duplex homes, but they, he said they made this into, her home into one just for the, the video, the movie. I keep saying video. Oh, wow, dude, look at that. All right, so... If you picture <laughs> this wall that's here was the wall that was taken out, which opened up to where the kitchen was in the back there. The bedroom was right there. But you can see these are separated. This was two families lived in this little home. Wow. So cool. This is just incredible. Go around. 
around to that back side. <clears throat> okay, so that's where the living area was with the fireplace. Oh, wow. That's it. This is all they had. It's all they had. So I assume this was probably the bedroom area. I must have did it. Wow. At all their meals. And everything in this front room. You can hear the running water coming off the dam down here. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. Joe's already kind of down that way, but wow, absolutely beautiful. So you may hear a little bit of wind. I might cut, have a couple of cuts here and there so it's not too annoying. Wow, absolutely beautiful, guys. Look at that. Yeah, it's, it's funny because it's like, uh, darken it up a little bit guys, it looks like, uh, looks like just a couple guys made a dam on the weekend. Yeah, yeah, it's cool though. Is that not just beautiful? Yeah, it is absolutely beautiful. These trees are beautiful too. It's just gorgeous. The Carolinas, to me, uh, I can't get over it. I pinch myself quite often. That I can hop in the car and be in all these different beautiful scenic areas. I mean, I can be at the beach can be high up in the mountains you can be anywhere within a matter of a you know a, you know with less than a tank full of gas so it's really cool I hope you guys are enjoying this And I believe Taylor said that it's 75 acres, more or less, is this property. Hey, Joe. He said this was like 75 acres?
You can see they pulled up all these floors. Oh, that's kind of cool. So I guess on each, in each one of these, they do have an upstairs on this one too. Yeah. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna, I'm not gonna film much more of this. I'm gonna take pictures for Instagram now. Yeah. You know, cause I mean, honestly guys, we could probably walk on this whole property. There's more places over there. But they all look. Well, I'm gonna walk down to the other side and film, keep filming. I'm gonna go back in the Well, are you gonna go for the street, Phil? Yeah, I'm gonna probably stop too. I'll take I'll take a few pictures as well. I'm gonna try to go in the house by myself first. Go right ahead. Knock yourself out. there, and then probably call day. Yeah, see, there are more properties back there, guys. I guess we could walk back there, right? We'll use a little bit. I'm gonna cut off just for a little bit, come back on, maybe take a little stroll down there. But I am gonna get a couple of pictures here. So beautiful, how do you not? Yeah, that'll be cool. What just happened there? Man, these cars are whipping through here. You can see how, like, why they don't want anybody really walking into all these properties, because that's not stable. All right, I'm not gonna venture too much further that way. What a cool looking house right there though, too. I'll grab a picture of that, guys. What's going on, guys? I think I keep losing power. There's Big Joe. Jojo. 
<clears throat> so it's a lot they're pretty much repetitious you know all the houses but yeah, dude this is gonna be so much fun yeah we got to come back place. here place, yeah. we got to come back here at night it's beautiful too man so this looks a little different down here or is the, are these kind of the same homes uh, pretty much all the same. you see the little outhouses yeah i said can you imagine eating a can of beans and yeah, running well, out here at, at three in the morning when it's eight <laughs> degrees out all right y'all i'm gonna just kind of wrap around and then i'll all right I enjoy this guys. Love this so much. This is fun. This is so much fun, but I can't wait to come back either um, to get the full uh, effect of the nighttime here. Because this is going to be scary at night. An old shed, maybe a stable or something. <clears throat> so they told us uh, during Halloween they have a lot of people um, that come out for uh, booze and brews. I believe I saw. Which in um, this Carolinas, there's so many places that do so much for all the um, for Halloween. It's really neat. As you can see, <laughs> they have must have like a haunted trail that comes through here. Wow, look at that! How cool is that? Outstanding. So much fun. So peaceful, so quiet out here. I just, I don't know if the camera picks it up. You hear a couple of birds chirping, but the spilling of the water from the dam, it's just, it's like, if it were 10 degrees warmer, I, I think I would just lay down and, and take a nice nap. It's so peaceful. And uh, I think we mentioned earlier, I'm not sure. Um, for those of you that have seen the movie, you know, give me some info on it. I'm gonna go, I'm probably gonna watch it before I have this video out, but I'll probably do that tonight. Awesome. If I remember correctly, they were running around the woods shooting people with bow and arrows. And uh, I can see that here. You can see kids just with their Nerf guns and airsoft guns and just having a field day back here. So awesome, so beautiful. Look at this, watch, so we're just gonna, let me go in a little bit so you guys can just see kind of what I see. As we turn, look down that trail. Outstanding.
I can see kids in camo. I'm telling you, I can hide behind a tree. Let's see. If we're camouflaged, this would be a great paintball field too. Can kind of take cover here. As soon as Joe comes up behind those uh, houses out there. I can take him out with some with some pink paintballs, make him look like a little fairy running around. Oh, too cool, too cool. Absolutely beautiful guys. I'm gonna uh I'm gonna cut out. I mean there's only so much we can film out here right now, but this is a great uh great segue into when we do come back. And uh we'll we'll have to see. Joe's gonna be heading back to Florida. Um, we have to contact the owner, see when's a good time for him, and when we can all uh, get everything lined up. They said they want to have two people out here, um, mainly because they said when they see lights and stuff, because there are cars that come through, they want to have security to make sure no one else comes out um, while we're doing what we do, which is just so awesome. And uh, such, such nice people. I'd like to say thank you once again to Taylor. Um, I haven't met Clayton yet, but we have to contact him for the for the night thing. And uh, but thank you guys if you're watching this, we really appreciate it. Again, see everything down below. I'm gonna share um, some information on their um, nonprofit as well. They gave us a couple of cards, so uh, we'll share that with you. So if you'd like to help them out, um, if not, and you if you're ever in this area, exit 119 off of uh, I-40, Hilden Brand, North Carolina, sort of in the um, Hickory area. Just a beautiful area to begin with, but this just made it all that much better. But thank you so much, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. See everything down below in the description. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you soon. Deuces, love you.